What's going on, you gamers? Today we're going to be jumping in some Lies of P, and this time we're going to be going over an absolutely amazing early game farm if you want to get your XP up and grab yourself a whole bunch of levels. So if that interests you, stay tuned. That's coming up next. Welcome back everybody, today we're going to be looking at Lies of P and if you're like me and you kind of like to just brute force your way through everything then being able to level up and grab yourself a whole bunch of skill points early on is definitely going to help you. This guy is going to be an early game kind of sub boss that you have to go through in order to proceed a little bit further in the game. The great thing about this farm is something that pretty much every single player will be able to get to within the first 10 minutes of the game and it's well worth knowing if you want to level up say your vitality or your strength very early on. So after defeating that enemy you're going to grab the key and you're going to be able to make your way through this big old double door. Then you're going to proceed all the way forward and you'll be able to rest here at your very first stargazer. Now what's so good about this is that you're already at the area you need to be at. This stargazer is going to act like your kind of bonfires or sites of grace if you've played your dark souls and such, allowing you to level up either your vitality, your equivalent to strength, or the equivalent to your stamina, whatever kind of attributes you're going for for your character. But all we're going to be doing, we're going to be bopping around this area just here because they have decided to be very generous and spawn an absolute abundance of enemies straight away ready for you to farm. In this area, there's probably well over 10 enemies and I found by going around in kind of just a circular rotation here, I was able to take out the dogs and the robotic soldiers pretty easily, even though I was very new to the game and still kind of sucked at it, to be perfectly honest. So this was definitely helping me. It was going to get my levels up. It was going to make me stronger and it was going to get me used to the controls a lot faster than if I was venturing out and making my way towards that kind of tough first boss. I found staying here for at least half hour definitely worked out in my favour. You're going to grab yourself a whole bunch of levels. I think in around about 40 minutes I got roughly 20 levels give or take. I may be slightly off with that but it was definitely worth doing because I managed to grab a whole bunch of strength. I put my vitality up and it's just going to make the whole game much easier because you're going to be slightly stronger than you probably should be. Also don't forget when you're picking up the drop you will sometimes get some ergo drops so you'll be able to go into your bag and use those or save them depending on what you want to do and be able to put them towards levelling up again. In my opinion this is the easiest early game farm and really helps you out before you tackle that absolute nightmare of a first boss as it's going to make you a whole bunch stronger and it may save a controller or your keyboard in the process. Let me know in the comments how you're getting on with this or if you found anywhere better. I'm going to be pumping out a whole bunch of content for Liza P. So as always for all things gaming, take care. I'll see you on the next day.